So welcome back. So in our Cypress with TypeScript series, today we are going to see uh, how we can use the Cypress methods to identify or to perform certain operation on the browser elements. Okay. So in our previous session, we have seen how Cypress is actually identifying the locators based on the CSS selectors and then we have seen a sample of how it is identifying. So we have used the CY that is the global object and then the get method actually which accepts the CSS selector to identify the browser element. So in this session we will go deeper inside the get method and also we will see that why Cypress is giving another method that is find method to again identifying the element. So then what is the difference between get and uh, find okay. So that is what we are going to see fine okay. So let's first get uh, get started with the get method actually. So straightforward let me go back to our our code base actually so we have done this one first is we did cy dot visit to this particular URL after that we have used the get method actually to identify certain element and then we have seen that type so if you see here actually so cy dot get now this is basically kind of a overloaded method actually because it's get method uh, there are multiple get methods are there so depending on the parameters actually it varies actually so for an instance if you see uh, let me do one thing so here if I de do like this you can see the first method is kind of selector which is the basic selector only so you can just use the selector and then which will be a single parameter actually now if I move to the next one and here you can see it is asking the selector and also the options actually now what are these options so if you see there are three different types uh, three or four different types of options are there one is actually log and then the timeout and then shadow so these are basically different options you can uh, what do you call it? you can use to play with your locators actually so uh, let me just show you the documentation actually the cypress documentation which will give you an idea about what I am talking so here you can see log actually so the first parameter would be your CSS selector that's for sure actually now the second one uh, how I come to know so I have seen into the documentation here you can see selector so with only selector you can identify the locators else you can use selector with options now there are three to four different types of options you can use it and these are very much optional you can use you cannot use actually so let's uh, quickly jump into the options here so if you see here the first option is log actually so by default it is true so it means that whenever you run any test on your C, uh, Cypress UI runner you will see a log actually like what exactly clicked what is the value it is uh, keeping so all those logs are printing on your report actually if you really don't want to display or show those kind of logs you can make it as off actually let me show you how to do that first I will open the terminal and then here I will say npm and then I will say Cypress and then I will say open okay so let me first run this one so here as you can see these are basically the logs actually see the get method like where exactly it entered the value and then another get actually here you can see so these are just giving the logs so let's say that you if you have uh, like lot of different lines of code are there and you really don't want to print all these things actually so you can basically disable this one now how do you do that one so basically you have to go like this and then here instead of this I will just make this one as uh, commented and I will utilize this one and here I will say another parameter as I was telling here now inside this you have to put a curly bracket and here you will put log and here you have to make it as false actually that's it so you can see the syntax uh, let me show you the syntax you can see log is by default it is true you can make it as false so that you don't see all these things let me show you that so let me re rerun again the same code so here let me stop the existing test and then rerun it again 
so here you can see the first get method did not print the details only the second get method only printed why the first get method you can you are not seeing here the reason is that we have made this one log false here the log is by default true that's why you are still seeing input name equal to home so here you can see so if you don't want to see now it is reducing the lines of code right so that is the reason actually we need to uh, put this log actually so as per that you can be uh, minimizing the logs in that so this is your first one now let's see the second one second parameter now if you see here timeout wh what it is telling time to wait for cy dot get so by default the cypress waits for four seconds actually so whenever immediately if your uh, if your browser element is not present on the screen it waits for the four seconds actually let's say that your application is too fast or too slow you want to reduce the time or you want to increase the time actually so that's where actually you can play with this particular parameter so for an instance let's say that as soon as it loads I don't want to wait actually so what I can do I can use another option and here I can use time and capital O U T and here you need to put this as one second actually so let's say that you are very much confident that it won't be uh, what they call it will be identifying so soon and then you want to reduce that so in this case you can just utilize like this so let me save it and see what is the error here it is saying uh, no overloaded okay okay so it should be actually small o and then here you can see now let me just save this one and then rerun my test So you can see it actually went so fast actually this one because to type this I don't want it to wait actually for a certain amount of time. So I'll give you one scenario actually here why I, why this is most benefited. So let me just go to this particular URL here if I go to this delay now here what it is happening so if I click on this button actually it takes five seconds to load that so let me do that click on this one two three four five so it's kind of it took five seconds now let me try to inspect this one and then I will be clicking and then fetching this value so here what I will be doing so this is name is commit one right so here what I will do I'll take this one uh, in the selector sub also I can quickly see this one so you can see this is my element actually so here what I will do I'll put everything here for time being and then here let me put like this cy dot get let's put this one at this moment keep this one as it is and then the URL I'm going to change actually to this delay okay and here I'm just giving some escape sequence so that it won't throw any error so I'm saying click actually so this is my first thing it will do once I will click on this one then what I will do I'll try to identify this text actually so right click inspect and here it's ID is delay right so I can use like this so here what I will do cy dot get and here I will say like this oops it didn't copy well so here let me copy this one and then put it here and then I will say dot and then here I will say suit half and then I will say dot uh, I will just use the suit condition don't worry about this one so should have text I will say comma and then I will put inside this this entire one okay so let me copy paste this one and here let me keep it and this should be in single quote or double quote doesn't matter okay so what I will do after I will click this one 
as soon as i will click this one i will identify this particular element and i will verify that this particular element should have this text actually but what happens to identify this element it takes 5 seconds delay i said the cypress is kind of taking 4 seconds delay right i mean if this element is not found cypress by default takes 4 seconds only now it should fail actually that is what we are going to see so i will stop this one i'll rerun this test case again okay so here you can see it is waiting for four seconds and it didn't found okay see as soon as it failed it came here because it needed extra one second to wait it where it is not waiting so that's where actually this particular timeout is coming into the picture so i just wanted to show you guys the difference actually how you can do so what i can do timeout colon and i will put it here six seconds for an instance let's say so six thousand millisecond that is six seconds now let's try to rerun this code actually after i'm giving a manual wait so i'm just clicking on this test now you can see so here you can see this is kind of waiting and you can see here now it appeared the exact text it appeared so this is what so if you are expecting any element that takes more than four seconds that is the default cypress time you can use this particular option this is very much handy actually let's say another scenario where i'm telling let's say that if you have a registration form you filled all the details you clicked on the submit button and you are waiting for an alert but that alert is taking more time actually but cypress will wait only four seconds default so there you can use six seven depending on your speed or your application performance you can wait a bit more time and you can deal with your test case fine so this is one of the handy feature you can utilize this one let's see what else options are present actually so another one is within subject actually so within subject is null so what it says element to search for children in if null actually so what it is saying that if let's say that if you want to search within something actually within some subject means see whenever you are searching something cypress.get and then css selector it always searches from the root element of your dome actually but let's say that if you have a parent element you want to just search within that particular parent only to reduce your time of identification so that's where you can use this within subject actually so let me just show you quickly this option so let's say that if i want to try to identify this element actually now whenever i'm putting uh, this username this goes from the html dome actually starting from the root element it identifies but for some reason let's say that see this particular username if you see this is even coming from here actually or if you see from the id container actually so here what i can do i can try another one let me put another eight block it will be easy actually instead of commenting those things so here i will say within subject so i will say cy get within subject okay and here i am again using this one here okay so in this actually let me just delete everything actually i don't need now here this is username right now here i'm putting this one copy and then paste it here okay and then here i'm just saying type and here i'm just giving qab box fine so here what i can do so when i'm using this username this goes from the root of the element if i want to use that option what i can do in curly brackets i will say within you can see it is auto populating within subject dot so here i can say document dot get element by id and here i can put this one actually so from container you take it so that it need not to be like identifier from out see you can see this particular full name field is inside a container right so i can take this parent element and i will say within this only you do that so here i will say container 
and then here I'm going to print there is not much difference just that when you have section of different section of data and you are mostly focusing into a particular section let's say you have two different uh, dividers are there left and right side you want to take the left side uh, box actually some text box so what you can do take the parent element whatever it is there from there to you put that text box so that uh, Cypress will not search the right hand side uh, objects actually it will take from the left side only so that is the benefit now if I run this it won't make a big difference but still let me just show you how I can run the within subject oops I didn't change that oh okay it is taking both of the it blocks actually that's why it is taking time yeah you can see here it ran actually successfully it is typing the only difference is that whenever I'm saying get username it is always going uh, not from the root element rather it is going from this particular element so it's not searching out of this actually from here so this is one of the handy feature if you have uh, what do you call repetitive elements in both different sections you can utilize this one fine okay so another thing is that so these are all actually we were identifying based on single values right like we always take uh, which is returning us only one element only but what about if it returns multiple elements like it is finding multiple matches actually for an instance again I'm moving back to here actually let's say that uh, list items okay so for different situations I'm just taking different examples so that you won't get confused actually so here let me open the selectors hub so here if you see if I'm going here my group so if here you are seeing this is my group and then here I will tell that P so you can see it is sorry if I put this one actually so here you can see it is taking four elements actually if I'm using this CSS selector and if you don't know about this syntax do watch my previous session you will get to know more about this tilde sign actually so whenever I'm returning this one I'm using this one I'm getting four different options actually so what you can do even you can utilize that as well so let me just do one thing another one let me put it here actually and here in this case I'm going to use this particular URL and here I will say see why get multiple elements multiple elements and here I will say instead of this entire thing here I will take this one actually now here you can see it is returning me multiple elements actually so I cannot type I cannot get text I cannot do anything actually let's say that I want to count actually here so I can put should and then inside this I can say that uh, have dot length and here I can say four I can do like this so whenever you are getting multiple elements you can utilize like this now let's rerun this one code and then let me stop the existing test and rerun okay I should have disabled the initial it blocks okay so as you can see here it is see expected three or more to have the length of four and which is actually matching here you can see it is even highlighting actually even you can get this one let's say that if you want to take to the uh, you want to fetch the text actually from the second one actually so what you can do here dot there is a eq actually one method is there it's like getting the index actually a particular index for an instance let's say that if you want to take the second one actually so second one means this one actually and and here I can say should have and I will say text and here I will print this one as oops, here I will say paragraph 2 right so paragraph 2 I can do like this so this is based on index let's say that from multiple elements you want to only act on a single element based on different index actually so you can take this one actually EQ so here in this case so it always starts from 0 actually so I can take as 1 1 means it is referring to the second element and which text is paragraph 2 actually I am just trying to verify this one so let me do one thing here all these it blocks let me comment it so that it won't run 
okay and then let me run it so here what i can do even i can put an x x actually here not comment x x means it will skip actually the first two it blocks it will take the third test case let's see that so this is all mocha actually javascript's mocha framework if you want to know more about that you can just go and search with javascript mocha framework m o c h a fine let me run this one okay so let's see what it is coming okay you can see text but the text was paragraph 2 i don't know what is this one but the i think there is a space actually here that is the reason it is not coming let me put a space actually here there are spaces i should have done normalization actually so here let me rerun it again and here you can see it performed perfectly actually so like this if you have multiple elements you can grab the multiple elements and you can play with that based on the index as well so these are the basically the options and then there is another feature actually if you see here the fourth option that is include shadow dome actually so this is kind of an advanced topic so shadow domes are basically it's kind of an uh, iframe so it's like an HTML resides inside another HTML. You cannot identify the elements inside the inside the shadow dome as a default. But Cypress gives that uh, option actually, where you can even search for an element inside your shadow dome also. So let's say if you are uh, searching for a text box actually, which is present normally, but there is again the same text box is present inside a shadow dome. But you don't want to identify the text box that is present inside the shadow dome. So then you can just remove this option. So by default, this is false actually. So if you want to search with inside, let's say that your test case says that I want to count the number of text boxes in normal HTML or the parent HTML and also inside the shadow dome also. If you want to get all the text boxes, then what you can do include shadow dome, you can make it as true actually here as an option so that it will search inside the shadow dome. If there is a shadow dome into you, in your application, then only this is applicable. If you click on this, it will show you that. So you can see include shadow dome by default it is false if you want to search inside the shadow dome you have to make it as true as simple as that fine so these are different four different options actually you can utilize to identify your element there is another one actually alias and i don't know how much it is helpful but i will give you a gist about that so in future if you want you can leverage this one also so this is very straightforward let's say that if you are if you are identifying an element which is kind of uh, a bigger x path and everything is there so you can create an alias actually you can see cy dot get it is doing something now it is a long x path or css selector let's say locator strategy every time you don't want to utilize this one so what you can do you can create an alias of that so you can use the as to do's now wherever you want to use actually you can use that by using a at the rate symbol now whenever you do at the rate to do what cypress does it will see all the as actually whatever you've written in that particular script it will identify that so whenever it is referring to at the rate to do's it means that it is identifying cy dot get this entire text actually or this entire locator strategy so one use case you can see here so somebody is trying to click on a submit button for an instance let's say now what they're doing in the before each means before executing in each block this will be creating an alias actually and where this particular a long css selector is only referred to as a submit button only now here you can utilize at the rate submit button now whatever action you want to do you can do it so this is more readability actually that is the only reason there is not much difference you will get it okay uh, so that's pretty much it even for fixtures let's say that if you are getting a fixture like this users json inside that lot of different other stuff is there you are making that as users now wherever you want to use that you can just use this as at the rate and this variable alias actually so this is one of the handy feature uh, you will see wherever you can use it you can use that fine so these are all in detailed uh, what do you call uh, 
detailed about uh, the your get method actually now let's quickly see about the find method actually even cypress gives you an option as find it's exactly same as get method i can tell you the only difference is that you cannot use cy dot find as it is actually it will throw you error so let me just quickly show you that as well so if i write here let's say that instead of get if i say find it will throw me error actually it won't find out that element so if i run this one let me put it as x and then here i will try to run this one now for this i will stop and i will run this one and you can see it is giving you some error actually what it is telling that looks like you are trying to call a child command before running a parent command so it means that you cannot use find as a method as a parent method to this cy now see these are all chain up methods right command chaining we call it as a command chaining get method whatever it is returning on top of that you are performing this eq command actually once the eq command will return you some value after that you are executing this should command or should method on that particular result actually so so this should eq you cannot use with cy command as it is actually so these are all chained commands you have to have a parent command actually so for that reason you cannot use the find as it is find has to be used along with your get command actually so that is the difference now wherever where we can utilize this one so these are basically utilized let me put this one get find actually i can say like this now these are basically when you want to uh, execute a command based on parent child and then do something for an instance i can give you one example actually here if you go here let's go to this home page and then go to the sign up let's say that you want to get the this one or uh, I can go to the table actually. Let's go with a different example. So this is a web table actually. Now if I right click on this and inspect, you will see the table is the uh, my parent command, right? And inside this there is a T head actually. Okay. So now inside this there will be something. So I can do like this actually. Let me just go here and then i will say i will load this particular url okay now here what i will do get and here i will say table this is my parent command actually here so this is my parent so from here you search that is by using find command now here i can say t head actually so here directly i can say t head now here you can do something actually you can utilize whatever you want actually so like that you can use or even you can use find and you can say that uh, here single command th so this will give me the number of uh, inside this th uh, t head how many th are there so here i can say like this and then dot should have length okay means total items how many are there four are there right so here i can use four actually so here i will say four I can do like this actually fine like this I can identify so uh, you can see the difference now find is basically always used with the get command that is the main difference actually now if I go to this documentation find you can see here actually so go to the F and it is basically purely same as your get command you can see selector selector options these options are basically which we already discussed but you will see here one thing that here the within subject is not present because get command your get command is acting as a within subject now okay so that is how it is so this is uh, my parent from parent i am finding all my child elements so the find method will always change with your parent command that is get method now another thing the log timeout include shadow dome everything will remain same you can use it here actually all these things will remain same no problem like let's say if you if this t head to identify this this takes some time no worries you can just put uh, some seconds actually here like this you can utilize it let me rerun it i mean this doesn't do anything this will just check whether there are four different th elements are present or not so let me 
come to this Cypress UI, stop the previous one, click on this. Okay, as you can see, it is identifying the th. So you can see this is my get command. This is the find command and this is again another find. Let me just maximize this. You can see it is coming actually get find find and then it is coming now this find would have been taken for six seconds because i've given the weight as six seconds so that is the difference between get and find so this could be one of the interview question for you guys both are used to identify the locators then what is the difference so one is the that get command always used with cy find command is always chained with your parent command okay so that's how you will be identifying so i think that's pretty much the difference between uh, the get and find so hope this session is helpful if you have any questions or comments do let me know so that we can discuss further so thank you for watching and do subscribe to this youtube channel if you haven't